Hello space explorers! Today we're diving into the story of Voyager 2, a small spacecraft with a giant mission. Launched in 1977, Voyager 2 set out to explore Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. No one knew if it would work, but Voyager 2 had bigger plans. It became a tiny messenger from Earth venturing into the vast dark ocean of space. Voyager 2 carried a golden record, a message in a bottle for the cosmos. Against all odds this little ship set out to explore the unknown, Voyager 2's voyage is a reminder even the smallest ship can embark on the grandest journey. Why has Voyager 2 lasted over 45 years? It's a marvel of engineering. The spacecraft was built to survive the harshest conditions, freezing cold, radiation, and the unknowns of deep space. Engineers used robust parts, backup systems, and careful planning. Its power source is key, a radioisotope thermoelectric generator, or RTG, using the heat from decaying plutonium to generate electricity. Solar panels wouldn't work that far from the sun, but the RTG has powered Voyager 2 for decades. Originally, the mission was just to visit Jupiter and Saturn, but Voyager 2 kept working, so NASA sent it on to Uranus and Neptune. Each time it delivered new discoveries. The ground team played a crucial role, listening to faint signals, sending commands and solving problems from billions of miles away. Voyager 2's longevity is no accident, it's a blend of brilliant design, reliable power, and human dedication. The spacecraft has survived glitches, failing parts, and the vast emptiness of space. Every extra day is a bonus, a gift to science. Voyager 2 has traveled farther and seen more than anyone dreamed possible. It's become a legend, showing what we can achieve when we build to last and dare to explore. Its journey is a story of pushing limits and never giving up. Voyager 2's endurance inspires us to keep reaching for the unknown. It's proof that with vision and perseverance even the impossible becomes possible, the adventure continues. Voyager 2's journey was a true grand tour of the solar system's giants. First stop, Jupiter, revealing the great red spot and icy moons. Saturn's rings dazzled with thousands of ringlets and mysterious spokes. Uranus was a tilted blue-green world, Voyager 2's only visit. Neptune revealed fierce winds and the great dark spot. Voyager 2's grand tour changed our understanding of the outer solar system forever. With the planets behind, Voyager 2 set its course for interstellar space. Voyager 2 is still traveling but it no longer sends back pictures. Its cameras were turned off after the Neptune encounter in 1989 to save power for other instruments. The last images it took, Neptune and its moon Triton, were breathtaking. These were our first close-up views of the most distant planet in our solar system. They marked a final goodbye to the planetary part of Voyager 2's mission. After Neptune, there was nothing left to photograph, just the vast emptiness between the stars. The images of Neptune's blue atmosphere and Triton's icy volcanoes were Voyager 2's parting gift. While Voyager 1 took the famous pale blue dot photo, Voyager 2's final images serve a similar purpose. They remind us of the scale of our solar system and the wonders we've explored. The cameras are now silent but their legacy endures. These final photos are a permanent record of our first reconnaissance of the outer solar system. They represent the end of an era, the last time a human-made object sent back pictures from a new planet. Voyager 2's images changed how we see the distant giants. They are a family album of the worlds that share our sun. The memory of what they showed us remains powerful. Voyager 2's cameras may be dark, but their story shines on. Voyager 2's most shocking discoveries came after its cameras went dark. As it approached the edge of our solar system, its instruments measured particles, magnetic fields, and plasma waves. The spacecraft crossed the heliopause, the boundary where the sun's influence ends and interstellar space begins, in 2018. The transition was sharp, one day inside the sun's bubble, the next in the cold, dense interstellar medium. Scientists expected a gradual change but Voyager 2 found a real, defined border. Data revealed the heliosphere isn't shaped like a comet's tail but more like a sphere, or even a cosmic croissant. This forced scientists to rethink their models of our solar bubble. Just before crossing Voyager 2 detected a wall of super-hot plasma, a final fiery barrier before the cold of interstellar space. The solar wind piles up against the interstellar medium creating a region of stronger magnetic fields and hotter particles. These findings challenge our theories and show our cosmic backyard is full of surprises. Even without its cameras, Voyager 2 is still revealing the unknown. Its discoveries at the edge of forever are rewriting our understanding of the solar system. 
Voyager 2's journey proves that exploration never truly ends. The spacecraft continues to surprise us, even in the darkness. Its legacy is one of discovery and wonder. The edge of our solar system is stranger and more fascinating than we ever imagined. Voyager 2's data is revolutionizing our understanding of the heliosphere, the sun's protective bubble. This bubble shields us from dangerous cosmic rays that can harm life. Voyager 2's measurements at the frontier reveal how the heliosphere interacts with the interstellar medium. The magnetic field outside the bubble is much stronger than expected, as if the galaxy is pushing back harder than we thought. This explains why the boundary is so sharp and dynamic. Voyager 2's data helps us build better models of our galaxy and understand cosmic rays. Inside the heliosphere it detected a certain level of cosmic rays, outside the level shot up. Voyager 2 can even measure the direction these rays come from giving us a direct sample of the material between the stars. Having both Voyager 1 and 2 in interstellar space gives us a 3D view of the heliosphere's shape and behavior. By comparing their data, we learn how the bubble changes with the sun's activity cycle. Voyager 2's mission is now about understanding our home's place in the cosmos. It provides the ground truth for our theories about the galaxy. The spacecraft is our weather station at the edge of the sun's influence. Its journey is no longer about planets, but about the boundaries of our solar system. Voyager 2 is helping us see our place in the universe with new eyes. What's next for Voyager 2? Its journey isn't over. Now in interstellar space it's moving at over 34,000 miles per hour. Even at that speed it will take 40,000 years to approach another star, Ross 248. By then, humanity will have changed beyond recognition, but Voyager 2 will still be traveling, a silent ghost from our past. Its power is fading, by around 2025, its instruments will shut down, and its signal will go silent. Earth will lose contact, but Voyager 2 will continue its journey carrying the golden record. It will drift through the Milky Way for millions, maybe billions of years, a piece of us achieving a kind of immortality. Voyager 2's story is about exploration and curiosity. We send probes like this because we want to know what's out there. Voyager 2 started as a mission to see planets and became a mission to touch the stars. It has outlived all expectations, showing us the power of daring to explore. As you look up at the night sky, remember Voyager 2, our tiny silent ambassador. It represents our curiosity, ingenuity and hope. What will it find next? Probably only the quiet emptiness of space. But the real question is, what will we discover next? Voyager 2's journey is our story, a reminder that the adventure is only just beginning, the universe awaits.